Well, the fortunate thing is I didn't have many larger contributors. And the only reason, see, I went to the big guys for the money. I was ready to prostitute myself. I was ready to prostitute myself. Prostitute myself and the, man the manner in which I talk about it. But what happened was they said, come back when you're 40, son. And so I had to go out. Number of small contributors. What? Small contributors. What? Contributors. What? go to a number of small contributors. Nanad, says Kent Cooper of another public interest group, the Center for Responsive Politics. You might feel coerced into giving. MBNA officials say there was no such coordination or coercion in the 1996 Biden contributions. When asked why many top executives contributed the same amount at the same time, spokesman David Spartan responded, we all know each other very well. The big guys for the money. I was ready to prostitute myself. The shark. The skin diver's powerhead is the only answer to this savage monster who knows no fear, just curiosity and an appetite that nothing seems to satisfy. I was ready to prostitute myself. Trump has said that his son walked away with a fortune. Now, you know that's a totally unsubstantiated judge, really? 
It's not an substantia, it's fact. Drug business, MBNA, they, he got about uh, $100,000 a year, as I recall. Uh, you received $214,000 in campaign contributions from the company and from its employees. Uh, at the same time, you were fighting for a bankruptcy bill that uh, MBNA really wanted to get passed through the Senate, making it much tougher for everyone to file bankruptcy. Uh, Senator Obama was opposed to the bill. Among other things, uh, you couldn't, in fact, claim that you had a problem because of big medical bills. Uh, you voted against uh, an amendment that would call uh, for a warning on predatory lending. Um, you also called for Oh, um, you opposed efforts to strengthen the protection of people in bankruptcy. This has been an issue that you've heard about before. Um, your son was working for the company at the same time. In retrospect, wasn't it inappropriate for someone like you in the middle of all of this to have your son collecting money from this big credit card company while you were on the floor protecting its interest? Absolutely not. I was ready to prostitute myself. And Let's be honest what we're doing here. And I, it may make sense, and I might add for the record, I'd like to put in the record a Forbes article, uh, uh, and I'd like to ask you whether it's an accurate quote, Professor. You, they, they quote you in an article entitled, Everybody Knows It's Credit, um, in Forbes uh, magazine saying, quote, the lobbyists are going to be the only ones who really profit, scoffs Elizabeth Warren, Harvard Law Professor. I think you're dead right, because it points out in here, as you point out, the one, we may have to find new boogeymen. The one people who aren't going to benefit out of this are the credit card companies. Hush, hush, here comes the boogeyman. Don't let him come too close to you. He'll catch you if he can. He'll catch you if he can. Because it points out in here, as you point out, the one, we may have to find new boogeymen. The one people who aren't going to benefit out of this are the credit card companies. As you point out in here. I, 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 I submit this to the, uh, uh, for the record. Uh, if I, 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 I'd invite any response in writing from anyone who'd like to respond to the article. We'll make it available to you, okay? Hush, hush, here comes the bogeyman. Don't let him come too close to you. He'll catch you if he can. Middle class America is under attack, and it's under attack in part from a multi-billion dollar industry that has figured out that you can just keep carving profits out of them, carving profits out of them. No single magic bullet will fix everything, no one thing, but we can make it a whole lot better by getting some decent, fair rules on credit cards.
Senator Biden, welcome to the Advocates. Thank you. Good to be here. Senator Biden, it's nice to have you here as the youngest member of the Senate, the one, therefore, who may expect the longest career there. I wonder if you'd say to us, <laughs> since it's clear that you're not corrupt and you got elected, why should people think that the system produces corrupt results when there you are? Well, I'm not sure you should assume I'm not corrupt, but I thank you for that. In retrospect, wasn't it inappropriate for someone like you in the middle of all this to have your son collecting money from this big credit card company while you were on the floor protecting its interest? Absolutely not.